Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Dear Mama Sal, and I promised to show you what the special gizmo is that I put in my car. You remember I got that special gizmo for my car? And so I'm going to show you that. And also today, I'm going to be talking to you a bit more about happiness. Enjoy. <music> So what I did here was I put this three-part cup holder on top of my two-part. And what I've done is put it over where I keep the money, the, my, what I call my emergency money. Um, and so this way, anybody looking into my car doesn't see money. They just see gum. <laughs> and I still got two slotties here for a coffee or whatever I need. Yay! Not bad for three bucks. Definitely worth it and definitely makes it a lot more functional for me. And and that's, I think, is the thing about being getting things in your life that make you happy. It's about, is it functional for you? Never mind anybody else, but does it work in your life? Okay, everybody. So today I'm off to go and pick up my groceries. As you know, part of my watching my budget is a strange thing and the strange thing about it is it is cheaper for me to order my groceries online and go and pick them up once a week than it is to go into the store and the reason of course is because I'm not doing any impulse shopping and if there's anything that is so important to me that I've, you know, that I've forgotten. Um, I just get in the car and go and get it again. But mostly, I don't. Perhaps the one exception would be I occasionally go, no, actually, I've done pretty well. I was going to say I occasionally go and get fresh vegetables. But I'm trying to buy vegetables that will last me the week. In other words, they're not vegetables that will go bad in a week. And the same with fruit. Now, it doesn't mean that I can't have the other vegetables. It just means that I get them on the day that I need them. Make sense? So if what I've discovered, for example, is that certain vegetables obviously will last the week, carrots being some of them. <laughs> the other, you know, things like, I want to say courgette, but you guys, hang on a second, let me think, marrow, no, that's the English word. Zucchini. <laughs> I have to remember <laughs> the different words <laughs> in in what country what country am I in which word is this and uh, for some reason I've never quite got into the zucchini word thing but now my loyal followers in England know what I'm talking about <laughs> marrow guys marrow remember all right so the the interesting thing in this is that for example when I buy avocado which I have done I've got on my list I've got some avocado um, but I will actually eat them early in the week okay talking about happiness you you will remember that what I said was I was going to make a point of asking people that I met all through the year in different ways you know what makes them happy because I think sometimes we forget what makes us happy and we need reminding constantly and one of the things that I've noticed so far which I found interesting and maybe you will too how often people started with the words the time to spend more time with my family the time to play with my children the time to sit and watch the fish you know whatever it was that the, the words the time came up so far have have come up a lot so that made me realize that for a lot of us our time management is out of control we're living busy lives that are in out of balance now the thing that I wanted to talk about in terms of that is that only one person can recreate the balance we can continue to be totally out of control 
or we can bring back some balance. Now, one of the things that I wanted to do for myself this year is have more discipline about my balance and, and my mental health and everything else. Because they're all interlinked, of course. And I realized that I needed to find time to get positive energy flowing into my mind so that I would be at peace, because that makes me happy. And the interesting thing was today I thought, gosh, you know, in the old days I used to sit down and read a book. And today, I thought to myself, gosh, so many great books are online. Why do I not take the time to listen to some books that feed my energy and my happiness? And what if I did that while I'm putting on my makeup? What if I took that time? Because you know I've got the time to put on my makeup, right? <laughs> yeah, that sort of, that, that's part of my day, <laughs> putting on my makeup. So, today I started to do that. And I'm going to let you know how that goes. But I want to tell you that what I picked was something I haven't listened to for a long, long, long time. And it's a very big set of, uh, you know, it's a very big volume, if you like. And I'm not sure if all of it is online, but at least I managed to find one part of it. And I do will tell you that I definitely feel much more relaxed for having listened to it. Thank you.